Hello everybody, uh, I will try to make a short demonstration of my rover and uh, the control station uh, for it. Uh, my English isn't that uh, good, but I hope you understand some of it. Um, this is the, the rover, right here. And here we have the control station. Uh, this is the back side of it. Uh, I have some equipment here. I have some uh, tools here and uh, a sunscreen for the for the monitor and some soldering equipment. And uh, this is a protection uh, for my uh, air blade antenna. It's uh, IB Crazy air blade antenna. And uh, this is some extra antennas for my uh, for the video and uh, this antenna here is for uh, for the control signal to and from the rover and inside here I have some uh, different stuff and also uh, uh, another antenna for the video uh, it's also a IB crazy crosshair antenna Uh, yes, that's about it on the back side of it. If we turn it around like this, uh, we have the inside here. On the top here, we have a, a I don't know what you call it, a rod uh, where you can put uh, the uh, EB Crazy crosshair antenna, and here you put the uh, uh, transceiver antenna. I think I will uh, attach them right now. Wait a minute. So, uh, there I have connected the crosshair antenna, and you can point it in the direction of the rover pretty easy. And here's the uh, transceiver antenna uh, and you see that the uh, crosshair antenna is connected to the receiver here it's a 2.4 gigahertz and here we have a uh, Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi I use that when I'm uh, developing developing this uh, unit uh, I can upload code new code and such a thing and uh, this is the uh, transceiver I uh, use to send commands to and uh, reads the status from the from the rover. Uh, it's a uh, HMTRRS uh, 433 uh, megahertz uh, LoRa transceiver. So it's a pretty long range, up uh, about five uh, more than five kilometers uh, in open in, li in line of sight. Uh, so, but it's pretty slow. It's nothing if you want to race. You, you, it's it works nice for my uh, slow going vehicle. It goes about about six or seven my, uh, kilometers an hour. Uh, and uh, here under uh, the, the transceiver, I have a switch for the video and audio. You can uh, um, either use the internal receiver and get that signal to the a monitor or you can use an external receiver and you can switch the audio and video here like this now it's external and that's uh, internal and here you can connect you can get 12 volts out to the external video receiver and uh, you can also connect a, a secondary monitor or uh, goggles or something like that uh, let's see here when I uh, yeah, yes you can um, either use uh, battery power internal power these batteries or you can use uh, external power if you want to connect it to a power supply uh, I'm going to switch it on now on battery power and, and it will boot up in a couple of seconds There we go. 
uh, as you see now, uh, you can see uh, uh, the uh, the voltage of the station here, and here is the voltage voltage for the rover. But the rover isn't turned on yet, so I will turn that on. There we go. So now the rover is booting. So in a couple of seconds. There you go, and now the yes, there we see the uh, the light goes on there. It means we have a connection to the rover, and uh, then you can see the rover voltage also on the little uh, display here. And oh, here you see how much battery is left on the rover and on the control station. And if uh, this is just uh, some LEDs, if you get an an uh, okay event, uh, event, something uh, good is happening, this will uh, light green, and if uh, something, some error happens, this will light, uh, light uh, red. Uh, here we have the Wi-Fi, uh, you can uh, disable or enable the Wi-Fi here, Wi-Fi here, uh, that's, that is good if you want to, if you enabling the uh, the video, it's a, uh, it's a good idea to turn off the Wi-Fi because it's also running on 2.4 gigahertz. And when you disable this here, it will go a signal down to the to the rover, and the Wi-Fi will also be disabled on the rover. And this button here, if I get focus, yes, there, uh, you can in enable or disable the transceiver. Uh, so if you, this can be good if you don't want to send any uh, control signals to the rover. Example, if I uh, develop, um, develop developing this uh, unit and don't testing the signal, I can turn it off. So I don't uh, uh, send a lot of signal out in this into space. <laughs> Uh, and here we have the uh, to enable the video. Uh, when you push this, the video will uh, get enabled uh, here on the station, and it also will be sending a signal down to the rover and enabling the uh, transmitter on the rover. So we can do that, that right now. Here we go. And I need to turn on the. There we go. I think I turn off the audio. It will be um, sound bad otherwise. Yes, there we have the picture. And uh, down here uh, we can send a text to the rover and the rover will speak it. It's a text-to-speech um, engine in the rover. So I can try uh, something. It's on Swedish and now Hello, I am a robot here on Swedish. There you go, and when I press enter, this it, it will send the text to the rover. Yeah, it's uh, not. It's uh, e-speech. It's. I don't think that uh, text-to-speech engine is is so good, but you can hear it. Yes, and uh, here you can steer the rover like this. See on the picture also down here. Like so. And here you can control the the camera. Like this. Let's see the camera moving there. Like so. And here on uh, here you have uh, some control buttons. Uh, you can 
lower lower and raise the camera on, on these two uh, but I haven't finish, finished that yet I'm thinking of building some sort of scissor lift to enable that and you, here you have it uh, if you want to center the camera you can just push the button and the camera centers and the cruise control you can uh, push it, this and the rover will go on full speed and you just need to control it by uh, moving the joystick left and right, you don't need to push it forwards. And headlights, let's see here, just some lights all around the rover. And also a high beam I call it, it's a, a lights on the camera, so the light, it's a a high beam on the camera, so you can see what you're looking at, like this. You can see it. off and on, yeah. There you go, you can see it. Uh, yes, and then I have, uh, it's a Raspberry Pi inside this, and I, this is the USB for this, uh, for the Raspberry Pi, and also the LAN uh, on the uh, Raspberry Pi. And, and I have a DVR back here to record uh, what, where I'm driving. And also some LC filters here for the for the remote, for the receiver and the DVR and the monitor. That's probably not necessary, but why not? Yes, and here we have the, the batteries and the remote control for the DVR. It's just Velcro. And if we go down to the rover here, we have the the pan and tilt for the camera, quite uh, robust. Yeah. And uh, the antenna here, here is the video transmitter and the antenna and here inside here we have the same uh, transceiver as up on the uh, remote control the low the low rock transceiver with uh, uh, the antenna here and in the front apartment you can have some batteries and uh, the here we have the DC uh, motor controller to so control the DC motors. It's a Diablo, the P Borg Diablo motor controller. And the, there's this is the power board. All the power goes in here, and you can enable or disable it here. And in the back apartment, this thing here. It's the the speaker for the text to speech. You can also put some batteries here. You can uh, connect two batteries uh, here and two here. And also if you want to connect them in series, I have a, a little cable for that. And this is the... Uh, here we have the Raspberry Pi to control it. So the power distribution board here. And uh, this is the analog di di digital, so you can read the... Uh, uh, the voltage of the system and some LC filters for the Raspberry Pi. I had some strange sound from the Raspberry Pi uh, when I put in the uh, the speaker. So I added a LC filter and then it works just fine. And here is some buck, buck converters uh, to get 12 volts for the lighting, 5 volts for the Raspberry Pi. And I also have, let's see, 4.3 volts, I think it is. Oh, yes, 4.3 4 for the uh, for the lamp here, uh, right here. And down here, under here, you have the relay board to connect, to uh, enable or uh, to turn on and off the lights, the transceiver, or the uh, video uh, transmitter, 
uh, and uh, lights here and also to turn on this uh, siren to make uh, an awful sound to scare away away some people <laughs> maybe <laughs> and also wi-fi on this if you want to uh, when i'm uh, developing it and also a little LS uh, lcd here to see the ep number or something like that and I think it will work pretty good. It's about 20 centimeters clearance and you can hope to climb the stairs and rocks and other things. I haven't tried it that much yet. I will do that tomorrow. And put out a video of that too. Yes, I think that's all. Can't think of anything else to say right now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and thank you. Bye bye.